Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have a matchup of two guys who can flat out just wreck an offensive line. It's Mario Williams versus Cameron Wake. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this week four matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two AFC East teams about to collide as we join you from Ralph Wilson Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And you just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Tell you who else loves these type of games. The coaches, they love it because they don't have to give any pep talks. They don't have to get the guys ready. They know their players are mostly going to be ready, and they pay attention to every single word the coach says during the week. Why? Because they want to beat their opponent. The Bills are ready to run back this kick. Greg Zerline getting his team set as we're about to get underway here. And this heated rivalry matchup is underway. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle is made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Well, Jim, we know this quarterback, he couldn't wait for this game to start today. Not only did they win last week, but it's how he played. He was, hey, there's only one word for it. He was special. The Dolphins sat at the line. Dime Let's package. First down at the 31. McCoy up the middle. Delma's in on the tackle. They must keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. The Dolphins' defense now is going to go nickel. Second down and two. It's caught by Michael Floyd. What a nice catch by the receiver. Get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The Bills doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. First down at the 42. Scans the field. Brings it in along the sideline. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed. And he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. That play is going to be challenged. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must must maintain possession of the football the play, as you go to the, the ground. On the, field stands. the coach's challenge is not answered. The play on the field will stand. Yeah, that's a tough. You know, I think it was up to me in this situation in the game. I would not have challenged knowing those timeouts, how important they are. We'll see if that lost timeout comes back and hurts him. Looking to go up top again on first down. The Bills get a first down. Jim, they call that a post route. Do you know why? The receiver is running towards the goal post 
So they call it a post route. The Bills moving inside the 20 and the red zone last week. They just feasted on that part of the field. Get ready. Two, that is five. Two, that is five. First and goal from the nine. Here's the Bills offense. Last week they posted big numbers on the ground, eclipsing the 200 yard mark. The line of scrimmage right at the nine. The Dolphins lined up in the nickel. Get ready. 188. 188. Second and goal from the nine. Complete to Floyd. And that gains a few. And here's the Dolphins defense. They know they need to force turnovers today. Coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. The Bills now on third down. Just a week ago, they converted at a high rate in third down situations. Get ready. Grant 38. Grant 38. Third and goal at the six. The ball is fumbled. The offense was able to recover the ball. Nice job by the offense that time. Even though they fumbled the football quick enough, and smart enough to get on it right away. This will be a field goal attempt from 37 yards out. The kick is through for three. That field goal gives them a leg up here midway through the first quarter. Makes you feel really good about what you did during the week here. Anytime you can get points on the board early in a football game, it makes you think all that practice was worth it. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Tannehill's coming out now to get this offense going. He had just one touchdown pass last week. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down at the 20. Aaron's got it on the handle. Taken down at the 21. Now, here's a look at the Dolphins' offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Bills with a nickel look here on defense. Tannehill gives it up. Running room. Gains 18. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. The Bills with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 39. And he is brought down at the 39. Now a look at the Bills' defense. They know they need to force turnovers today, coming off a game in which they had no takeaways. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Tannehill from the gun. Landry's got it on a pass that had some heat. 
The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. From the gun, Tannehill. Of scrimmage, the 43 yard line. Second and 10. Hand off. And the flag is down. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. After that penalty, it's now second down and 20. Quarters formation here for the defense. Tannehill's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Ball is out. The defense has the football. When I talk to young quarterbacks, they say the number one rule is always keep two hands on that football. That time, he doesn't do it. That's why when he got hit in the pocket, he fumbles it. The Bills stepping back onto the field to get this next drive underway. Their previous possession was a field goal. Yeah, I think they feel good about that field goal. They made some good plays, and they got down there, and they moved the football, and they, they got it in position where they could kick the field goal. Now you take the knowledge that you gained from that last drive, use it, and try to go down there now and score a touchdown. They've got to be wondering, though, can they finish off a drive today? The Bills have it at the 44. McCoy secures it on the toss. because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. And that will close out the first quarter in Orchard Park, New York. We'll return in just a moment.